We bought the house at the tail end of last summer and there was a very dated LPG heating system that had been in the house. We did some research and found out that LPG was, was expensive, so we looked for an alternative and wanted something that was environmentally friendly as well. We decided to go with the solar panels and the heat pump and as you can see it's a, a nice little purring machine that's not too noisy, the neighbours can't hear it and uh, over the winter it's been wonderful, the house has been really cosy, we've had hot water, we've had heating, been able to wander around with just t-shirts on which is great and obviously it pays for itself. It's a, a Mitsubishi Ecodan heat pump, it kind of works the opposite way to a, a fridge. From a technical perspective what it's doing is taking energy out of the air, even at very low temperatures. So even down to sort of minus 20, minus 30 degrees, there's still energy in the air. And the way it works is by pulling the air through a fan and it's actually heating a refrigerant that boils at a very low temperature. That's then pushed through a compressor that, that heats it further, creates temperatures of up to about 60 degrees, which you can use to heat your water and your radiators or your end the floor heating system sized it is designed so that we can provide all of the heat and all the hot water for this house. This little box on the wall is the thermostat that controls the, the temperature overall in the house. Um, don't tend to touch this at all, it's set at constant temperature all year round. Um, the bottom number is what it's set to which is 20, the top number is what it actually is in the house at the moment. It's not complicated to use at all, it's quite easy. We're in the main house bathroom and these are the other two control panels that we've got for the heat pump actually in the house. Um, the top one is the main controller which is fitted by the installer and he sets that up for you when he puts it in so that's fine, you don't tend to touch that. Bottom one is the timer and that controls the hot water and the heating. comes on and off throughout the day and night depending on what you need and when you need it. So again, it's very straightforward to use, just a neat little box. The heat pump itself is like a big fan, it's like a big air conditioning unit so, so when the system comes on you'll see that fan turning. Um, it's very quiet, you can only hear it when you're pretty close to it but um, if you get too close you can feel the cold air coming off it as it's sucking the air in, taking the heat out of it and, and throwing the, uh, the cold air out. You'll also see here as well is there's a flow and return pipe work here. So this particular pipe here will take the, um, the warm uh, refrigerant through to the hot water and heating system and this one here is the, is the cold fluid coming back in order for the process to start all over again. And this here is just the electrical supply for the pump. No, it's been brilliant, really pleased with it, really not noisy and provided us with lovely amounts of heat and hot water over the winter. Um, yeah, great. Certainly would recommend it to anybody. You can consider a heat pump to be a, a, a replacement for your normal gas or oil boiler. Uh, on the basis it will do all of your heating and all of your hot water. Typically a system will cost about £4,000 plus maybe some, some additional uh, radiators um, if necessary. But you compare that to the cost of a, of a normal boiler of, of two or £3,000, it isn't really as expensive as you might think.